Well, folks, here we again for the weekly forecast. During this last week, of course, the big news was the unusual warmth that we had in the region. And in fact, last week I was wondering whether or not we were going to get up into the 70s on Monday. And in fact, we well got above the 70. We got some dry air in advance of that trough that moved in through the southwestern United States. And we actually held that through Tuesday. Now, we did see some few, few scattered sprinkles and light shower activity with the piece of energy rotating around that upper air low. And of course, we've seen another secondary wave move through the western part of the state that give us some, some reasonable precipitation amounts in the panhandle, but overall we've had a very dry pattern. In fact, a vast majority of the state has received less than a tenth of an inch of moisture over the last 30 days. In fact, a tenth of an inch of moisture since our big snowstorm in early uh, February. So now we're paying attention to our south as that upper air low that has been dropping tremendous volumes of precipitation. Looks like it may be trying to work its way northward in association with the trough coming out of the Rocky Mountains, which may actually help generate some precipitation early next week. The models are still a little bit off on regards to the timing, but overall they do indicate that that system will make its way through our region. So let's take a look at the upper air models and see how this uh, week will progress. First thing I'll draw your attention to is this is what is left right here of that upper air low that dumped over 15 inches of moisture to 20 inches of moisture in a 48 hour period in eastern Texas and southern Louisiana. And then we see the second piece of energy that's moving through. These will congeal to form their own little entity. And as that moves out toward the northeast, it may generate some scattered thunderstorm activity to our south and leave us basically on the northern fringe of this precipitation as we go into Sunday. We will notice another piece of energy that is trying to make its way into the Pacific Northwest. This is going to start to make its way southward into the central Rockies. But in advance of it, we're going to see some warm air moving in from the southwest. So once again, we're going to see temperatures this weekend that are easily going to breach the 70 degree mark. And it's a question of how long the 70 degree temperatures hold on as we go into Monday. We will notice that the trough starts to dig its way down to the central rocky. So we're still going to have one more day of southwesterly flow aloft. And that should start to bring some moisture up in advance of this trough from the Gulf of Mexico. What we're going to worry about is if this thing moves too quickly, it's not going to be able to tap a lot of moisture from the Gulf, and therefore the precipitation totals will be much lighter. But as we go into Tuesday, what we'll notice is the trough digs uh, down through the central plains, and we get a secondary area of low pressure over the western Great Lakes. This will help pull in some cold air at the surface, and it looks like most of the significant moisture at this point in time is just tracking to the south of Nebraska, so just a little bit farther northward displacement, and we will see some more significant precipitation in the state of Nebraska. Now, as we get into Wednesday, Wednesday, GFS is pulling a lot more colder air in. Again, it's pushing the system all to our south, so we're going to look be between precipitation events. And as we get into Thursday, we will see a northwest flow aloft with a few pieces of waves moving on the back side of it, but we're not generating anything in any significant moisture. And then we start to see a warming pattern building back in as we get a temporary ridge building in next weekend. 8 to 14 day forecast indicates that with that trough moving in later into next week, we'll see some cooler conditions moving to the central Rockies, but it does indicate that we'll see drier than normal conditions ahead of that trough pushing into the western United States. States.